Boruto episode 8, the final lesson. Now this episode I actually enjoyed, it was a decent action episode, we get to see a character that we rarely get to see fight, you know, I think I mentioned that in my last review, that Shino is the character that hardly, you know, ever got any time, even as one of the side characters, he was one of the lesser side characters that really had a lot of focus, so it was nice to see him as basically, you know, the main villain of this episode, and he's going up against Boruto, Shigurai, and Mitsuki, and he has the reasons for why it's the three of them, because it's like, you know, I'm tired of, uh, you know, like, the lazy kid for Shigurai, and then for Boruto, is like, the kid that's always causing trouble, and then, of course, for Mitsuki, he's like, the interfering, uh, you know, foreigner, so... It was interesting, like, his reasoning for having those characters there. And just watching him kind of use his abilities, and he's using all his bugs. And, like, the first bug that comes out actually, like, chews through his skin, and, like, he starts to bleed and stuff. And I was like, that's very interesting, because we don't really see this sort of uh, stuff from his character. We don't see, like, a darker side of him. So, definitely entertaining. I mentioned uh, my last review, the promo, they kind of gave him, like, the Terminator eye and stuff. And, you know, same thing happens here. He uses his bugs, he's kind of going wild, which they kind of make uh, a point of throughout the episode, like, he's losing it, he's just trying to kill us, but he's not paying any sort of attention to his own chakra, he's just, like, letting the bugs run free, they're, like, doing all sorts of random stuff, like, in the very beginning, he's not really even attacking them, he's, like, tearing down trees and stuff, kind of, like, as a show of force a little bit, and then he starts to attack the kids, so... You know, just throughout the episode, we see him kind of just going nuts, and he's using the bugs all over the place, and it's pretty cool. And, you know, they're going through, they're being chased down for, uh, Boruto and Shikurai is like an actual horror movie. Mitsuki's just disappearing, and he's kind of just watching them, and it's like, man, it's kind of disappointing watching them. And they kind of play up the mysterious side of his character, because he talks with Boruto and, uh, Shikurai, and Shikurai kind of looks at him and is like, I knew you knew something about this, and... You know, he tries to use the plan to get Mitsuki as the decoy, and it's like, this way I can kind of see a little bit of what this guy can do, so I can learn, you know, a bit more about him. So, I thought that was cool that Shikada was kind of on to him, but ultimately they all end up working together. Boruto, of course, despite having very little chakra, he decides to uh, be the decoy because he not only wants to save the people that he's with currently, which is Shikada and Mitsuki, but he also wants to save uh, Shino, so... It was, it was definitely a Naruto moment, um, I thought, where it was like, you know, I'm not gonna let anybody um, die or anything like that, and I was like, man, that's definitely, um, a Naruto moment, I never felt like Boruto really had that, as much as they like to say, especially if you read the manga, they like to say how different they are, they normally are, like, they don't need to say it, they, they typically are, it's like, they have very different lifestyles, you know, they have different reasons for not being with their parents as much, but, for the most part, it's just like, Boruto kind of just goes through life, and Naruto is constantly struggling, and I feel like this is one of those moments where they kind of came together just a little bit, where it's like, yeah, we're both fairly decent human beings, we do, you know, even though we might be kind of screw up sometimes, we do tend to actually care about the people, you know, that are around us, so, I thought that was a nice moment where I was like, okay, he's actually kind of like his dad, where he, he would rather sacrifice himself, even with low chakra, it was really dumb, um, in general, I mean, I know it was like the hero sort of deal, like, in all of anime, where it's like, I'm the hero, you know, let me do this, because I care about my friends, um, in reality, it was still really stupid, because it's like, well, you know, you already used up some of your chakra, or it, a lot of it was stolen from you in general. We've been, you know, getting chased down. We're sweating like crazy. She could I use up some of his powers trying to, you know, uh, stop Shino as well. And Mitsuki was just hiding in the trees as they were being chased around. There's not a drip of sweat on him. He used up, like, one move, but he still had a, bu a bunch of chakra. And it was like, yeah, that, this actually makes a ton of sense. Like, he wouldn't actually get caught because of Mitsuki's abilities that we've seen. He could use whatever, and he'd be able to escape, you know, whatever ends up happening. So, you know, it, it was the hero moment where Boruto kind of seemed like his dad, but I was like, it still is dumb. You know, it's still a dumb idea to do that, but it works. Of course, he ends up having enough chakra to make the clones, um, and it allows for them to kind of work things out a little bit. She kinda comes in, and he tries to, you know, lead Shino toward the water, and that ends up working because it's like, oh, he doesn't have bugs that he can use underwater, Mitsuki looks weird just standing behind a log. I was like, I know something's going to happen from this, but I was super confused as to what they were doing. And then the arms come up out of the ground, which I thought was very cool. And that kind of, for like a split second, that made me think of uh, the Naruto versus Sasuke fight, like the very first one that they had. Uh, and it was like a split second. I was like, oh, this makes me think of that when they're like on the water. But the hands come up, they wrap around Chino and drag him underground or under the water. And so that's when we find out he does actually have bugs that can be used in the water. They're just very specific. So it turned out that that was their plan the whole time, was that even if he did have that, 
they'd be able to take him out. And it would probably take him out even easier because he's basically opening up his actual body to release the bugs. So Mitsuki is able to use uh, lightning style, hits him up in the water, basically kills him. But And I love the fact that he saved him. And he like threw him super hard out of the water. He launched through the air. He went like over the trees and behind Bo Rito and Sheik and I hit the ground. I was like, couldn't have done that any softer, I guess. But he hits the ground and then Mitsuki's like, crap, I used up too much of my chakra. So he goes down. Bo Rito tries to save him. And of course, that's when he reaches his limit because he used up too much of his chakra. So he, they're both about to die. And Sheik and I was about to because it's like, well, crap, I'm out of chakra too. But I got to try something. And then that's when Shino uh, gets up, and even though he is very low on chakra, he is able to save all of them. He's even, even able to um, pull off some of the jutsu, which is cool. I mentioned very recently, because we got to see um, Konohamaru do a, a summon jutsu. He did the frog, so I was glad we got to see, of course, you know, pull off a bug. That would, it would be funny. It would be so dumb if he summoned um, a frog. That would be hilarious. But, of course, he summons a bug. So I was like, oh, that's cool for, you know, that half a second we really got to see it. But... You know, he does the summoning jutsu, he gets a bug, flies them all out of the water, and everybody lives. So, I thought it was definitely a fun episode in that regard. By the end of the episode, uh, we get to see Naruto and Shikamaru really talking to Shino, and it's like, there's definitely something going on. Like, they knew about, like, these crazy attacks. It's like, there's some weird, mysterious evil that's taking over people. So, I definitely like the fact that it is being, you know, it is being talked about by the Hokage, and we get to see how they're going to start dealing with that. It might lead us to, like, our, you know, finally get into, like, our main uh, first villain for the series. So I'm excited for that. Got a little bit of contact about the uh, the eye jutsu and stuff like that between, uh, in the moment, between Shikadai and Mitsuki. So I like having that moment where Boruto actually talked about, like, out in the open, like, man, there's this crazy thing where only I can, only I seem to be able to see it. This was, like, the first time he actually just flat out said, only I can see this stuff happening. So... I was glad that it was just put out there 100%. Like, there is some ability that I have that you guys don't seem to have. So I was glad that it was at least talked about. It doesn't really mean much, but the fact that it was finally talked about and admitted by the character that's dealing with it, that's a nice step towards other characters finding out and us getting some more answers as to what this ability is. Although I assume that we're still going to have to wait a super long time <laughs> before that ultimately ends up happening. But really, I really did enjoy this episode. It was a decent action episode. It was just... It was an attack and chase sort of episode. It still had a little bit of stuff with Shino wanting to be a good teacher. And, you know, of course, going off the last episode, how he felt like he failed and not being taken over. He wants to just kill them. <laughs> so I like the way it ultimately played out. They end up stopping him. He feels like he should resign as a teacher, but the kids realize that he is still a good teacher. There's still things that he can teach them. And even Mitsuki learns the lesson like, well, maybe there is something that he can actually teach us because Mitsuki realizes he doesn't know everything. So... I like what they did in this episode. It was pretty simple, but it was a decent, just like crazy chase action sequence where it was like, I didn't feel the stakes were too, too high because of course I didn't think any of the kids were going to die, but it was still entertaining to watch. It was like, all right, well, how are they going to get out of this facing off against a guy who has bugs that can hide like all over the place, which they kind of tease a little bit, the part where Boruto freaks out and he just assumes that they're Shino's bug. So I like what they did with this episode. It was pretty simple, but I certainly enjoyed it. But I definitely want to know what you guys thought about this one. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, at least favorite parts. And I definitely want to know uh, what you guys thought about the bits of development that were shown off in this episode. I think they did, you know, like a tiny bit for each character because we get Boruto admitting that he has whatever this Aijutsu is. Shikadai is still kind of keeping things to himself, but he's like, all right, I'm on to Mitsuki and how he knows whatever is going on with Boruto, but I'm not going to say that out loud, you know, he's keeping his cards close to his chest. And then, of course, we have a little bit with Mitsuki, where he realizes that Boruto is the person that he's looking for to kind of help him out and stuff, and it's like, okay, well, he would rather go out with less chakra than I go out and, you know, sacrifice himself, if need be, for me and everybody else, even the teacher that's trying to kill us. So they did a little bit of development for all the characters, including Shino, you know, where he goes through it. For him, I feel it was kind of the same as the last episode where ultimately he had a crappy moment and then he had a good moment, you know, kind of at the end. Um, so I feel like it wasn't as big of a deal for him. But for the kids, it was like minor things that I feel are going to lead to much greater uh, moments of development. So I would love to know what you guys thought about those moments and, of course, what you guys thought about the episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.